What's up you guys? My house is kind of quiet right now because the big kids are asleep and Banner's at the gym and Wes is down here on his fun little purple monkey and a bubble gum tree mat. If you know, you definitely know. And yes, these are still <laughs> not hung up. Maybe we'll get to that today. But my face is so red right now because I've been so anxious like i don't know where this has come from i had like a good weekend i had a girls night all's been well today wes woke up with a cough the big kids are coughing and i've just been a little more anxious than i have been recently and i also think mm, really unfortunate but mother nature is coming back around and he just turned two months and like why does this always happen to me with all three of my kids it's come back so soon and I remember being a first time mom thinking, oh, I'm not gonna have that happen for a whole year because you breastfeed, it just doesn't come back. No, I always get a mug super quick and it's so devastating. I'm gonna try to bring myself out of the funk. I definitely think that's part of what's contributing to just, I don't know what's going on. Having a sick baby makes me worried that he's gonna end up getting worse and have like RSV or something, but fingers crossed that doesn't happen and fingers crossed the big kids get better and it's not just an endless cycle of sickness in my house. I kind of feel like I'm starting to get sick, but we're gonna try to bring myself out of this anxious funk that I'm in right now. I put on a little matching set and some slippers. We're not doing anything. We've done nothing this weekend. It's been the typical fall weather. It's been so cold and wet and the leaves are falling. It's like everything is stacking on top of one another with my just mental state. So we're gonna try to bring myself out of it and be productive today and start the week off right. I also had two cups of coffee today. Does not do well for anxiety. So we're just gonna like start knocking things. I don't know how I just did that. That is absurd. We're gonna figure this out and get stuff done and pull myself out of the anxiousness. I need to drink more water. Everything is kind of just building. But Wes is in his little comfies. He hasn't coughed as much since this morning. He's in his little, I think we kind of are in our gray. I love this little sweatshirt on it. My friend got it from him, for him from Target. It's just crazy how I've been really good up until this point. I felt amazing postpartum and then as soon as I start getting my period back, I'm like, oh, what is life? And the kids get sick and it's just like, whoa. And you're so cute. Are you a happy baby? Yeah, that your little belly. You're so cute. You really are. So little man fell asleep on his mat. So I was doing the infamous transfer, which thankfully he transfers pretty well. I took him out of the dream love, love to dream, that's what it's called, swaddle and switched him over to the halo sleep sack swaddle. So this, he just wears like a sleep sack and then it wraps a little bit. Sometimes I'll put his little arms up so that he has pressure around him, but he usually does well. As you can see, he was squirming a little bit. So I did the typical, like, let me add my hand, see if I can calm you, but not actually pick you up. And he did eventually settle down and fall asleep, which was really great because then I was able to go tackle the living room and everything. It's crazy looking back at this mess because it doesn't really look like it's that bad. Like it's just a few little toys sprawled out through the living room, but the feeling that it was giving me was just too much. I felt so cluttered and overwhelmed because my brain was just like going crazy and then having my space be disheveled was not the move for me. So getting this a little tidied was way helpful to my mindset. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box and then it was time to finally clean little man's bouncer seat because he didn't have a legit blowout. He just had a little leakage. So we have stayed clear of any blowouts in this bouncer, which is nice. And this thing was so tight on there. I could barely get it off, but threw that in the wash along with his play mat that he's like spit up on 50 times. I was just switching over the laundry and I found this in Reagan's laundry. Always finding little toys. Oh my gosh. And this. 
It's not good. Banner definitely was the one that threw this little laundry in. Usually I check to make sure there aren't any toys, but he probably did not realize that that was a thing. So that's why a few toys got in there, but got it all put back together and all was well. the dishes used to be the grossest thing to me and it's just funny how you just evolve and grow and now you know like I don't have a choice I have to do the dishes and now I've like come up with a method of like what makes it seem a little better to me I'll put in all of the silverware first find that I kind of go through order and then once it gets to these big like hand washing pots and pans this is still probably the worst possible thing for me I had to give myself a few pep talks to get through it I don't know why it's so horrible usually sometimes I'll like leave it in there and then banner will do it so we kind of split doing the dishes the hand washing just is too much for me but I was able to work through it and get it all cleaned which felt really good to have it all done Reagan ended up waking up from her nap and her pitter patter was so soft that I did not hear her and she definitely surprised me but she was still feeling a little under the weather so we just cuddled I got her all her drinks she's a drink girl for sure and then she just sat on the couch for a little bit and woke up up. you with a little goodie bag when you're having a rough day okay all right it is so much later we've been just hanging out all day and watching football and the cowboys are, are destroying um but oh wow 
I saw already something exciting. <laughs> I want to try it. Yeah, I want to try it. People will eat Rice Krispies before working out, so I want to see So it. Better just went to the grocery store for me because, you know, anxious and overwhelmed over here, so. <laughs> I reckon We're going to see what you got, how you did. It was a good haul. I think you did good. But, you know, it's, it's always hard. something it's exciting. Hard. He gets the fun it's stuff. He's the fun the parent. Basics. We got some basic meats. I feel like he got pretty much the basics with just a few extras. Ground beef, chicken, root, tortillas, mac and cheese for the kids, taquitos, and some bagel bites. You know, healthy. Frozen broccoli. Love that. I don't think I'll ever buy normal broccoli again unless the recipe calls for it because this is just so easy and it doesn't go bad and you can still put it in the oven like normal broccoli. So, yeah. Frozen broccoli all the way. Pizza, which is what we're having for dinner. Banner loves a good creamy vodka sauce, so that's fun. And he got a massive thing of spaghetti for that. That's chicken. You want to put it in the fridge for me, please? No, it's too cold. Maybe. Let's, let's put this in the... Here, put it in there. Thank you. You're such a good helper. Pirate's Beauty for the kids. Cheese sticks, salad, their nuggets. We finally ran out of our Costco trash bags so had to get those sad day when that happens little thing of eggs some goldfish for the kids we love cordon bleu in this house and that cough is rough child tuna packet those rice krispies i was talking about and a little dessert action and then this is what he got earlier those look good i'm gonna have this with my coffee now. Because that's what daddy got you. Is that fun? No. Oh. It's super helpful to just get the basics and then I'm gonna plan some meals around the meat options and get the supplemental like ingredients for those. And I'm gonna put it all away. Your back is itchy and I'm gonna itch her back. Sarah. Yes. How's your Wednesday going? Tell me about Good. it. Banner <laughs> brought me breakfast in bed and he even made the um, bagel and the eggs and the... In what formation? This formation. Oh, look. That's I don't know if it's going to zoom in. You have to tap it. Oh, tap it. Look at that. It was a smiley face. Aww. A happy Wednesday. Yeah. Everyone in this house is just... We got a busy day today. Feeling some type of way. We're about to go to Dick's and get Chip some Crocs because he's been using... Reagan's, Reagan's little, ones. Yeah, he's like, look, my Crocs. <laughs> that are too big and then they'll play chase around and he'll fall down. But He will up. literally sprint like across the house and it's like it catches something and he like, like free falls and then he pops back up. He's like, I'm good. okay. Ooh, ooh, he's a little tank. He is. But, yeah, it's still cold and gloomy. It's supposed to be 60 today, not bad. Which is good. It just is but. those. It's, it's like that weird time of year where it, morning, Cold as crap, so cold. and then midday you're like, why am I wearing a jacket? And I wish that it would just be like sunny. It can be cold, but like, it could be sunny, cause then I like feel better. But should we tell them what we've been up to a little bit? Yes. That we've been. We might be buying a house. We've put in one offer, wasn't worth it. Was not. Second one, we're still. If those people see this, just say no. It was a good offer, just saying. I mean, yeah, they just weren't like. They weren't ready. They don't need to sell necessarily, so they are gonna hold out until someone doesn't understand price per square foot and renovations Ooh. and are all you of a the realtor? things. Sorry, what? not sorry. <laughs> That's a realtor talk. Um, but we but found another house that we're gonna make guys, the Owen household. I hope we get fantastic. it, but I'm also terrified of what it, it could needs entail. So much work. Yeah. So what if we actually get it? You could see a lot, a lot of home renovation. Yeah, yeah. So get your feed ready for that. It's like... And you're I, just going to see Banner throwing things at all times during the day. It's, oh my gosh, I know. It's a lot, but like it's... Hey, buddy. Doable. It's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Up by all right, we got to go, but get ready. We'll keep you posted. We're going to know today if we got the house. By noon. I know. Big day. It's so crazy. And then... Time to go. 30 day close, if not sooner. And he's gonna get down there and start ripping up carpets and 
fixing walls, things, probably ceilings, leaves and the roof, roof and the garage doors. Backyard, front yard. It's a project, but it's, a project. it's like the possibilities are so great. Yeah, and make it ours. Yeah, so.